Look, 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 look. See the little thing on the head? We're gonna shed more skin than a rabbi on circumcision day right now. Where's the chicken? Where's the chicken? Look, 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 look. Come in one mistake, and I'm dead. Got two. Chicken, and, and you feel the fight. Where you <laughs> I mean, from here, you could get me. Look, 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 look. One of my favorite crocodiles. What's happening, guys? Now, just got back from a run, you can see. I was going to say slim and trim. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so tonight, it's night time. Look outside. Look how beautiful it's looking here in South Africa. Greatest <laughs> country in the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Two things quickly we got to do. Highly dangerous. We're feeding King Cobra's chicken drumsticks. Rex is doing a job there. Rex, what's happening, boy? I'm doing this stuff for Let's speed this up, my son. How many um, drumsticks? Oh, all of those. Half, 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 half. One, one, one. Two King Cobras. Come check here. Here's my big boy, Thor. Look at him, tongue is flicking. He knows his food around. Look at that. Look, 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 look. See the little thing on the head? And uh, here's Goldie. And she's a bit of a, she's a bit of a firecracker. Hello, my girl. We bred her about five or six years ago. There's food coming. Look at their tongues going. That means they can smell the food. Uh, Rexy, do it as quickly as your little arms can do it, bud. Yeah. Now, normally in the wild, they eat snakes. We've got them onto chicken drumsticks, a bit of KFC. They absolutely love it. Then after this, I've got a surprise for you. We're going to show you one of the rarest vipers in the world. We have to get some skin off it. It's one of the most dangerous things we get to do. Super, super dangerous, but one of the most beautiful, iconic, it's like the Ferrari of vipers in the world. This That's what we're going to show you in a moment. But also, guys, King Cobra is one of my favorite snakes, if not my favorite snake in the world. They're the biggest venomous snake on the planet. They are just super intelligent. Watch here now. I, I say they're super intelligent, but watch what this guy's going to do. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, well, I'll put the food right here. I even touched him. Now watch what he's going to come do. Here we go, here's your food here. Where's the chicken? Where's the chicken? Look, 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 look. He's just biting anything. If I open this now, we're dead. All, all of us are dead. Oh no, you just spilt it, you Wally. That's a feeding frenzy. Right there, feeding frenzy. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Okay, look, 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 look. Watch it, watch it, watch it. <laughs> Chicka, she just wants to bite me. Oh, now she's smelling it. Now you're smelling it. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? It's there. It's right over there. It's over there. Right? Isn't it amazing? But she just anything now. Look, 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 look. Look now she Oh mouth open. Oh That's what she's saying. She's going, ah What's that? Aren't they cool? They super cool snakes. Food's down there. This is into the bush. He's taken it into the bush somewhere there. Now, if I try to touch him, he's got two he's got two drumsticks. What a pig. Here he is, yeah. Check him out there. If I touch him now, check what he'll do. Watch out. Check. He's just protecting his drumstick now. Isn't that cool? All right, so while they're eating, we'll show you more of that now. We're gonna go do Bushmaster. Just looking, this here is dangerous. Now, Bushmasters, terrible snakes when it comes to necking them and shedding their skins. They just, they shed skins so badly. They've got like this hard dorsal ridge, super, super bad. And uh, so often they get stuck shed on which means you have to soak them in water. The snake's been soaking for almost an hour now. And then, I want to see how much, oh no, what a disaster. Look here, all of this is stuck shed. So this is a real mission to get off. The only way to do it, you soak the snake like this, and then you're gonna to have to pull it out by hand. We're gonna shed more skin than a rabbi on circumcision day right now. But to get the snake out, it's dangerous. One bite from this snake, you're dead. There's no anti-venom in South Africa for the snake. They are, they've got a horrific venom. One guy got bitten by a snake like this. Within four minutes, he was pooing in his pants and vomiting on the floor. 80% of people who get anti-venom after a bite from the snake still end up dying. So, what I'm gonna do, it's a bit dark to take it outside and neck it on the grass. I'm gonna neck it in here. Very important to be in the right shoes, huh, Kirst? Yeah. Very important. Now, come on. Come in one mistake, and I'm dead. Okay, now, okay, let's keep it down there for now. That's what, come look here. Look how thin the head is. Look 
Can you see how thin the head is there? Yeah, I can bet you have. Yeah, so that's why you always think, yes, can I get around? It, and now I'm going to show you the business end. You're, right to see, you're ready to see the business end. This is the part that makes your chutney tile just pucker up properly. Look over there. I'm going to show you something. We can start taking the skin off there. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, your mother. Look at those fangs. How's those fangs of the snake? Mm. Aren't they mad? They've got two fangs that side. Mm. Got two. Check and, and you feel the fight. The guys will know how strong the snake is. It is ridiculous how strong this snake is. Yeah, look at the twist. Look at the twist. I'm trying to get it on my hand. Mm. Doesn't know we're trying to help it. It's therapeutic, isn't it, Kirst? So those fangs can come through the side of the. Yeah, it can come right the through the bottom. Yeah. It's going to come through the bottom, not the side. And it's going to hit your finger underneath so that's why I'm putting it on the floor because when you're holding it up it can come through the bottom here look there straight through the bottom of its lip into your finger mm. and you have to be careful a lot of people out there you want to hold snakes don't do this I, like, I've been doing this for 30 years and you still make mistakes I've made mistakes before but you see this finger over here my what do you call this finger middle finger that m middle finger <laughs> middle finger sometimes it gets lazy you can't see it and if it goes further forward that left hand fang will shoot down here into this finger. It's not the kind of necking snakes and that. You have to do it. If, you, if you're willing to keep deadly venomous snakes, you need to have the gonads and the expertise to do this when you need to do it. Snake's health comes first, but it's not the kind of thing you want to do all the time every day because it is super, super dangerous. And we'll get off what we can now, but honestly, this is one of the most painful things keeping Bushmasters. And I might not have said it earlier. Look here, Kirst. This is a black-headed Bushmaster. This is like the Rolls-Royce of Bushmasters. Look at that. And this is the dorsal ridge I'm talking about. So here's the conundrum with Bushmasters. You cannot keep them moist. If you keep them moist, they develop something on their bellies called red belly and they die from it. And at the same time, if you keep them dry, they don't shed their skins nicely. And because of this hard dorsal ridge, really tricky. Look over here. Look at these scales. They, they, it's like a foul. They are so rough. I've had big bushmasters before take skin off my arm by holding them and then they suddenly push and this just <coughs> it's like a foul on your arm. Super super rough. But you can see how hard it is getting the skin off these guys. They're coming right down there. Getting there slowly. Okay, we're getting to the end. There's just a part that's close to the neck. You can see how dangerous it is. A little bit of blood here. That's from that fang going into his lip. That'll be fine. He's he's not uh, his own venom can't do anything to him. He's just drunk some water. That's what's coming out here. We had him soaking. All right, buddy. There's one more spot I want to get. Just don't fight me. Just don't fight. There we go. All right, we're gonna go put him back in. Okay, pick him up, Rex. Bottle. Okay, let's go. You go first. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have a massive cramp in there right now. Massive cramp. Huge cramp. And this is the one snake in this room. You do not bring out on your own. You do not put your tail in there first. You do not neck the snake on your own. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous. Good boy. Here we go. How's that? Come on. Here we go. Calm, big boy. Look at this. One of my favorite things. Favorite things to do feed big crocodiles come in with me here this is why we've got some of the greatest crocodiles in all the world here in Africa and uh, they're big they're dangerous but they're really really cool because you can get in close come 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 with me come with me come down low here are you ready you ready here we go big boy where you <laughs> look at him look at him look how big he is hey my big boy <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. How's this croc? How's this croc? Look, look, look. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Well, this done in one gulp. This is my boy. He is just a spectacular croc. Come on. Come here, Come here big boy. What a big guy. Come on. Good boy. This is Crash. One of my favorite crocodiles in all the world. He is just beautiful. I might give you more later, but sometimes as we're cooling down, 
um, in getting ready for winter when we stop feeding. But now I'm going into the crazy enclosure. The crazy enclosure with our black Nile crocodiles. They Hector. Oh, he's already coming out. Yeah, check this. <laughs> Come on, I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. Come on. Oh, I call these crocs. Look at the colour. How's the colour of this croc? Now, now, you see those crocs, right? Look how nice and dark they are. Beautiful. Now, right next door, I'm going to show you some other crocodiles. Bring me two rabbits. I come look at these crocs. This is what I love about crocodiles. Like people are like, oh, crocodiles. They just want to kill you. Maybe, but they're very, very special. Look at these guys, you've just seen black ones. You saw a normal with crush. You saw some black ones, then have a look at these ones. Look here. Hello Nugs, come here girl. Look at that. Look how yellow that is. Look at the other ones, Chris, show them your black ones. Black, yellow. <laughs> and then look, this is a new boy. His name's Jaws, there we go boy. Brand new boy, and he's eaten in his first week of being here. Look at him. Good boy. Ah, I, I don't think people understand how much I love these animals. My whole family loves them. Look at the yellow, yellow. This is a, they came together. We introduced them. You always have to watch when you introduce if there's not fighting, right? Introduced them day one. Coming up next to each other, rubbing on each other. Romance. This here, <laughs> unconditional love. Unconditional love. I need some chicken, please. So that's three or three of our enclosures here. Now these are all temporary enclosures for when we move all of these animals. They're going to be our ambassador animals that we're moving to our facility, to Dingo's Animal Kingdom. So we've got them, we're working with all of them differently um, because they're really, really special crocs. This here is blue. Come have a look over here. Look at big blue. I love big boy. Look at the teeth on this crocodile. Here we go. Hey, what's that? Don't you want food? Yeah. Come on. Okay, let's put him in the water. He likes to eat from inside the water. Okay, watch out. I'll get him in the so water for you. Why is he getting chicken and the others are he getting... He doesn't like rabbit. So he won't eat rabbit. I don't know why. Yeah, he likes chicken. Come, Blue. He's a very dangerous croc. If you were eating from there, it would be fine. Look at this croc. Come, boy. Come, big guy. Come on. Now, what I want to do, if you go there, Chris, will be a better view. Watch his bubbles. Check his bubbles. Come. Look at the bubbles. Come, big boy. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Look how lazy you are. Okay. And then suddenly, he'll eat from the water. He won't eat from the van. I need some more. Bring me the softest pieces you got. Look, 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 look. Come around you now. I want people to see. See what's going on on the inside you. Come check you. Okay, you ready? Not yet. Watch out. Come bigger. Watch this here. I mean, from here he could get me. Look, 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 look at the teeth. Hey? Okay, Rex, come. He's quite well mannered. Yeah, he is now, but he's very dangerous. Now, this time of year he gets a little bit lazy, but I can't get too close. Watch, 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 watch. Look how delicate he can pick it up. Check, 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 check. Have you got it? Watch him, watch him, watch him. Watch, watch, watch. watch your teeth now. Throw me a piece, boy. Good job. Great job. There we go, big boy. Come on. Come on. You still swallowing? Look at this croc. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. Look at that. How's this crocodile? Good boy. Yeah, well, come on. Come on. There we go. Good boy. Isn't this? Isn't this the most incredible thing you've ever seen? I love these guys. I love crocodiles with all of my heart. They are so just checking what's happening. They are so special, guys. So some of you, you might just think these are like big monsters and they just want to kill people. They can, they're very dangerous. And our crocs kill more people than all the other species of crocs put together. But 
They're magnificent. Okay, check here. He's just finished that piece now. Check, check. He's ready for another. Come on, big boy. What's here? What's here? Come check here. What's this? What's here? Woohoo! Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Check him, check him, check him. Come, big boy. What's here? Watch your audio. <laughs> Which, these guys have the strongest bite force of any snake in the world. Look here. You can see those are venom glands up there. He's full up with venom. Venom gland, venom gland, big head. This is a big drummy. Check, and, and now I'm holding it as hard as I can. Look at how he pulls. So in the wild, what they'll do, they'll grab a snake, overpower it. They'll sometimes twist, they'll eat that snake down before it's even dead. Sometimes it'll take, even with that venom, it'll take 40 minutes to kill a snake. But he'll just keep powering away. You can see she's got a mouthful there. She's still finished. Let's close this here. Guys, that's where we're gonna end it off. Um, put your comments down below. Which is your favorite sign? King Cobra, Bushmaster. It's like the two Rolls Royces or Ferraris or Lamborghinis of the snake world. I, I want to pinch myself sometimes because it's scary working with them, but it's some of the most rewarding animals on the planet to work with. We love it with all of our hearts. We see you next time. Then go out.